Hello my friends and welcome back. In this video I will be showing you how to remove these gaps around the windows and the edge of the screen in Como Rebi, the tiling window manager for Windows. So in my time building and maintaining this project, I have come to realize that there are essentially two types of people. There are people like me who love thick gaps and thick borders. And then there are people who just want the absolute minimum amount of wasted space on a screen. So this video is for the people who are in that second group. We're going to start off by heading over to the sample configuration. You can see here that we have two commands. We have named workspace padding and named workspace container padding. Um, and these are two separate things. So let's say I want to remove all of the padding and I just try removing container padding. So we'll do comma rbc named workspace padding for workspace one. I want to set that to zero. Now the workspace padding is gone, but we still have padding. Um, and that's where the second command comes in because there are two types of padding. So there's the workspace padding and there is the container padding. So I'm gonna do that. And hey, we have no more container padding. We have no more wasted space. Isn't that cool? Isn't that easy? Uh, now, of course, you'll have to do this for every one of the workspaces that you have on your various monitors. Or I don't know, maybe you want one workspace where you have zero wasted space and then you want another workspace with nice fancy borders. I don't know. It is up to you. But this is all that you need to do. And so you can play around with the gaps that you want. Maybe you want like a little tiny gap here. Or I don't know, maybe you want... Maybe you want something like this, you know, something a bit more uh, reserved in terms of space use. Uh, but whatever you want, you can play around with it on the command line in Windows Terminal. And then when you're ready, you can just open up your configuration file. And then you can set the values here. So... I'm going to save this. It's not going to make any changes because we've already set these values to zero. But if we stop the window manager, and we can see that it's stopped because yeah, the windows are everywhere. Now, when we restart the window manager, it is going to read from our updated configuration file. And that means that by default, on this workspace and any other workspace that you make these changes for, you'll have no gaps. And it is just that simple. Uh, there's actually a section in the readme about this if you want to see the written version so you can do some copy paste. Uh, removing gaps, here it is. So you can go through that at your leisure or you can follow along with this video. Uh, so that's it for the tutorial. Uh, before I leave you, I do want to bring your attention to the sponsor button here. If you are somebody who is using Como Rebi every day, day in, day out, and it's making a huge difference to your workflow, and you have the means, if you have the means, please consider sponsoring me, even a dollar a month from an individual. It makes a big difference to me. Um, and if you are working at a company, uh, a window shop where the majority of engineers are using Como Rebi, consider speaking to your engineering manager or to your VP of engineering, maybe even your CTO, and say, hey, look, a whole bunch of us were using the software. It's doing wonders for our productivity. And there are worse things that you can do than sponsoring this guy who has been developing this project on his own for the last two years. 
and who is still, by the way, the only person who is uh, implementing new features and fixing bugs. So if, if that sounds like, you know, you fit into one of those two groups, please do consider sponsoring the project so that it can stay around for the long term. And with that, I don't think there's anything else to say. I think that is the end of the tutorial. This is the end of the video. I hope you all have a very nice day.